Good morning, this is Dr. Tam here with our patient, uh, Susan. Hi. And Susan, a few, was it six weeks ago? You uh, got the- About four weeks. Four weeks ago. Four weeks Four ago. weeks ago, just four weeks ago, you had the regenerative medicine for both knees. Yes. Right? Tell me more about what was, how was your knee doing before? Give me a little history about how was your knee doing before? Well, I, I had originally damaged my knee in uh, when I was probably 14 or 15 years old. Mm. And it got better from that and was okay for years. Then it, it got worse from running and working and you know all the things that I did in my life. I know one time I had to be piggybacked from, from the, where our office was back down to the house and because oh, wow. it was so painful I couldn't even walk on it. It was just excruciating. Even being carried, it was killing me. Right. So from there, I, I still worked and ran. I iced it, I would heat it, you know, and it, it was fine, you know, I mean, it, it did its thing. Probably 10 years ago, I quit running because it hurt. Uh, it's painful and Tai Chi sometimes. Then this year I needed to put some gravel down in my driveway and I got in and out of my truck and I realized like two or three days later that I really strained my knee. It was, it was killing me. It was really bad. Hurting at night, hurting to walk on it, losing range of motion, very painful. And Dr. Tam said maybe I should do the regenerative medicine. So I did. Right. And how has it been, you know, um, ever since Ever since we suggested it, you know, Dr. Chavez uh, did the injection. How has it been since? Well, even just him squirting in the stem cells, you know, seemed like oh, it gave more space in the joint, <laughs> you know, so that, that felt better, you know, even just, you know, from the minute that it was done. Wearing the braces was kind of difficult over the two weeks. And they kind of rubbed on my legs in several places because mm. I kind of kept moving, walking, working, you know. Right. But I'd have to say it took about two weeks and it felt like the, like the, especially my right knee was the problem knee. So I would have pain on, you know, on the front side of it, on the side of it, on the back of it, on the other side. And it, the, the pain would kind of move around my knee when I was walking and working and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of interesting, but the, the pain at night quit. It started getting easier to go up and down the hills. So I've been noticing the range of motion is increasing and it just feels a lot better feels and, much better and did the pain that was traveling around did it stop after a while yes yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah it would it would be paining here and then it and then it wouldn't uh -huh. and then it would start pain on you know at another location and then it would quit and then it right. would pain elsewhere and quit right, right. so yeah yeah a it, big part of that is the the rebuilding process you know the restructuring and the healing process of the knee what else do you notice now that you can do that is that was better than before? I think it's mainly just, you know, uh, the range of motion and, you know, and the lack of pain, you know. Right. It's just, you know, it, it's easier going down hills. It's easier in my Tai Chi class. It's still hard to stand. What I do is I, you know, I'm a merchandiser, so I put all the new stuff that comes into the store away. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like shopping, you know, where you stand and you, you know, walk a little bit and then you stand some more and you walk right. a little bit and you stand some more. So that's... We're talking about eight, eight hours a day sometimes. Uh, yes. Sometimes of, of, the, of the shopping. Yes. <laughs> un, un -shopping. Of, of un shopping. Right. <laughs> un -shopping. Now, what, um, have you ever looked into regenerative medicine before we talked? Have yes. You, yeah, you have. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. Yes. Uh, from when you mentioned it, actually last year sometime. Okay. Then, you know, well, Carol comes into your office as well. Right. And there's a uh, chiropractor that comes from Concord and uh, gives talks for, you know, for his chiropractic office. Oh, but okay. But this most recent time, it was in, I think it was in November. So he had this talk on regenerative medicine. So she and I went to that. We get a free dinner, you know. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that's the main job. Right, maybe that's what I need to do. <laughs> so he gives this dinner and, you know, of course it was about, you know, the, the stem cells and, you know, they could put it here, there, everywhere, wherever you need it. And I actually went to his office and mm. hear, heard what he had to say about it. It was a lot more money, mm. a lot more money. Mm. And... So I, I was like, mm, I guess I'll just keep 
you know, trying to exercise and, you know, keep it strong and, you know, ice it right. and heat it as I need to and, you know, that sort of thing. I just didn't, I just couldn't see putting that much money into right. it. Right, right, yeah. And what are some of, uh, here you have a trip coming up. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes, I where, do. Where, where is this going to be? I am off to Peru to see Machu Picchu and other Incan uh, ruins and things, and also um, a brief stop at the Amazon rainforest. Wow. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks of that. Okay. Yeah, okay. two weeks of that, and in two weeks. So and, my oh, knee it's is into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, my I'm knee glad is that this coming is, into. <laughs> right. I'm glad that just in four weeks, you're able to see a lot of good improvements. Oh man, yeah, I was a little bit concerned actually right. with the trip coming up and my knee feeling the way it was feeling, you know. Right. It had gotten over, you know, the, the initial problem of unloading all that gravel and getting in and out of my truck, but it was still pretty painful. Painful right. at night and hard to walk on and use it, so. And, and hopefully now, this gives you a lot more confidence about your trip you know, yeah. that, and, and the walking and the climbing the stairs. I know I've never been. I, I've heard there's a lot of stairs. I That's what I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've seen one picture and they just, you know, it's like irregular blocks of uh -huh. rock that you have to, you know, this one is this tall. This next one is maybe only this one. And the next one is this one, you know, and you're kind of spiraling. <laughs> it's kind of like climbing that Great Wall of China. It reminds I, me of that. Possibly. I haven't seen that. Yeah. But, that yeah. would be a trip. I, I uh -huh. have it on the bucket list. There you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> yeah. Susan, thank you so much much for sharing your experience and I really really appreciate it thank you yeah yeah I, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to absolutely to have it done so yeah. yeah I'm really really happy really happy I did it thank you thank you